Good morning, folks. It's a short, limited news today. Long night, still no power due to an explosion of severe weather over my part of the world. As a lake in the sky allegedly evaporated from dry land over the span of two hours, let's just say we spent five hours trying to get to home to sleep, and that was four hours ago. A couple global ringers yesterday, big one visible here is a 6.3 in a remote part of northern China. If you can pick out the smaller reading above the larger one, that was a six-pointer that struck the middle of the South Atlantic. Indian nuclear workers were exposed to high levels of tritium and are under care. We also had a moderate quake way, way north. 1400 anomaly, day 20. The disturbance at the end can be unveiled here. The yellow is the solar wind speed and it is rising along with the orange the solar wind density. Magnetometer shows disturbance. The rheometer red spikes show plasma is penetrating the magnetic shield and being absorbed by the ionosphere. Ovation Prime shows a great deal of that charged particle bombardment. And this right here is just one of the three to four little coronal mass ejections headed our way, probably what caused all of this. We have more coming. That flash up top left was an M flare from yesterday morning. If you can peel your eyes from the massive coronal hole whose stream will strike Earth in the coming days, Set it on the bright active regions on the bottom left, becoming unstable as the video ends. You'll notice a deepening of the color, indicating charged particles are being blasted away from the sun. A lot going on, but I'm going to sleep. That's the news, folks. Be safe.